Josh, good night. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Um, good. Hello. Hello. Good night. Hey, hello. Hello, Leslie. Hi. Good evening, guys. Hey, hello. Good evening, Lorena. How are you today? Good? Fine. Okay. I'm the nanny right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yesterday you were the so cook. So I'm in the dark trying to, to, to sleep my kids. <laughs> okay, that's good, yes. What time do they usually sleep? Huh? Yes. What time did they usually How was your day? Oh, it was good. It was um, good. They usually sleep, go to bed at 8, 8.30 p.m. Oh, okay. In my case, my husband and I usually go to bed at 10, 11. It depends. It, de it depends the on the... And the activities. Yes, that's correct. That's the normal thing, right? But sometimes it has to be earlier, sometimes it has to be later. Yes. Okay, very good. Hey, Arely, how are you? That's right. <laughs> good. Hi, thank you. you. Okay, great, <laughs> great. Happy to see you again, everybody. Okay, we have Carla Jungman, also is here. Romeo, 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 Romeo. Okay, this is Hello. Hello. How are you, Hello. Carla? Good? Fine. Okay, fine. That's great. Ready to speak English? Huh? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, people, now let's begin because we don't have much time to waste. Let me check because this is, this is our... This is our topic here. Okay, we have just no long answer answers with B. Okay, we have answered these questions about yourself and remember to give either a complete affirmative or negative answer. Okay. Uh, then you have, for example, are you from the United States? Okay, if either a complete affirmative or negative answer. There you have many options, okay? Which one would you say? Long answer? Me. Yes. Me. Yes, Benjamin. Okay, okay, excuse me. Uh, are you from the United States? Uh, no, I am not from the United States. Okay, so that would be one. Okay, no, I am not from the United States. Good. Uh, how about you, uh, Arely? What would you answer in the number two? Is your teacher from Canada? No. Her, no? Uh, her is not. No, she is, is not. not. He is oh, he not. is not. Okay, is me? Not. Yes, I am from Canada. Look, my blue eyes. Can you see my blue eyes? Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. How <laughs> deep blue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blue and my hair is, is you know, blonde hair. But in this moment, because, you know, I look in you know, I dyed, I dyed my hair, different color. And I went to the beach, so I look brunette. Okay, so then here you can be she, yeah, well, in this case, they are just in she or ah, he, yes. or could be she or he, doesn't matter. He. Or in yes. this exercise, they are using yes. But if you say no, the answer is correct, okay? For example, if you are talking about me, you said, is your teacher from Canada? Then you say, no, he is not from Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can say he's from El Salvador. Okay. This is one possibility. Good. Uh, okay. 
Okay, Lorena, how about number three? Is your English class in the morning? Um, no, it isn't in the morning. <laughs> okay. No, it's not in the morning. No, that's fine. No, it isn't in the morning or no, it's not in the morning. The two are correct, okay? Perfect. Uh, Elizabeth, okay. how about number four? Are you and your best friend the same age? No, no, it isn't. Are you and your best friend? So you and your best friend is we. Okay, no, we isn't. Plural, no, we aren't, okay? We aren't. No, uh, no we aren't the same age. Or well, no, we are not. Okay, no, we are not the same age. Or no, we aren't the same age. Okay? Okay. So these are the, the possible answers that you can see here. Okay. No, sure. not. Yes, Benjamin? The same, the same age, uh, la misma edad, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, correct. Um, That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, any other question about vocabulary from this exercise? No. No, no problem. Okay, so this is yes, no question with long answers. It can be negative or affirmative. Okay. Remember that in the long answer, you always repeat part of the question, right? Are you from the United States? No, I am not from the United States. Uh, is your teacher from Canada? Yes, she is from Canada, okay? Is your English class in the morning? No, it isn't in the morning, okay? Is probably uh, say only yes, she is? In the Canada, in this one, number two? Mm -hmm. Yes, in the number two okay. is correct. That's, uh -huh. And that is the short answer. Uh -huh. In this case, we are practicing the long answer. Uh -huh. But in, okay. in the short answers, you can say, are you from the United States? No, I'm not. Uh -huh. Okay, only that part. Okay, and then you say, this part is out. Uh -huh. Okay, so it is correct. Okay, so you see all of them are the way they are supposed to be. Okay, now we're going to go to the... In this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions. Okay, so you have to read and understand what you have read. Okay, like this one. It's a reading. What's in a name? What okay. is the name? What's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? And what are they like? Okay. So this is, uh, I don't know if it is true, right? But these are sometimes uh, magazine articles. Okay. That they they try to describe or find the characteristics of a person because of the name, okay? In some cases, probably it's true, but in others, probably not. Okay, look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? And then it says, hello, my name is, all right. Uh, let me see, Carla, can you read the first two lines? Excuse me? Can you read these two lines? Up here, up to here. Okay. Your name is very important. Uh, when you think of yourself, your probability think 
of your nature. It is an important part of your identity. Identity, okay. So then this is very important, right? To think about your name first. Okay, good. <clears throat> then Lorena, can you read the next one? Right now. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't listen. Okay, can you read? Can you read this part? These three lines. Can you hear me now? No. Yes. Okay. Now, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Read these three lines. Okay. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? Okay. And why are some names unpopular? Okay, very good. For example, uh, if you see right now, the two most popular names are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Okay, what is a common or let's say a popular name in El Salvador for boys. Juan. Pedro, Juan. Okay. Pablo. José. José. Uh -huh. Okay. María. Brian. María, el Brian, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Carlos. Okay. Carlos, yes. Okay, so these are the popular names for boys and for girls. Juana. Maria. Maria. Yes, Maria is the one, right? It's very okay. And then many people like that name. Okay, so then that's what you say. Why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular? Okay, Arely, read this one. A name can become popular because of famous actors. TV or book, actress or um, actress or actress, actress or actress. A popular yes. name suggests very positive things. Unpopular name suggests negative things. Surprisingly, 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 people generally angry or the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. A recent survey. A okay. Recent survey. Any okay. questions from from this vocabulary in this moment? Who's the meaning? Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Yes. Sur surprisingly is something that is uh, sorprendentemente, right? Surprising. Okay. This mm, is. Okay. People generally agree. What else? Survey. Survey is, for example, that when you uh, when you make a questionnaire for people because you want to know the tendency of something okay if you want to know which product is better pizza hut or i don't know or domino's pizza then you put a survey you make a survey for people right and then if people say uh, well 50 percent of the people say that pizza hut is better uh, 20 percent of people say that domino's pizza is better and 30% of people say that other, other pizzas are better. Okay, that is a survey. Okay, to recall, to get information, okay, from different products. Okay. Okay? Um, what else? Okay. Only? Only. Now, let me, okay, wait. Okay, voice names. Okay, when they talk about boys' names, they say George, uh, average, and boring. 
these are characteristics that they relate to the name, okay? Uh, they say that the people with the name of George are average, promedio, or boring, or aburridos, right? Mm -hmm. But this is, you know, it's a tendency. I don't know. Okay, for me, it's, I don't know. I don't believe too much. Jacob, if your name is Jacob, you are creative and you are friendly. Okay? If your name is Michael, you are good looking and athletic. But I remember Michael Jackson and he was not good looking and he was not athletic. Okay. And then... Uh, Stanley is nerdy, nerdy, right? Like serious. and serious, and nerdy, is. who likes to study and kind of intelligent. Mm -hmm. For girls' names, we have Betty is old fashioned and average. Okay, like the like the Flintstones. Okay, and Betty from Flint, uh, the Flintstones. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain and ordinary. Plain is something like directa, right? And then person who is like that. Uh, Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. Probably Nicole Kidman, maybe. Right? But I don't, in actresses. Okay, so what these is, are. Uh -huh. What is average? Oh, average. Average, average. 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 Average is promedio, like a standard, right? Oh, okay. So no up, no down. It's in the middle, in the center. Okay. Any other vocabulary? Okay, good. Then uh, the next one. Oh, Claudia, hello. Hello, good night. Good evening. Hello, Javier. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Everybody. Good evening. Okay, Leslie, can you read the last paragraph? So why? So why do parents given their children on popular names, the biggest reason in the tradition, many people are main, named after a family member. <coughs> of course, of course it opinions can change over time. A name <coughs> that is unpopular no mean Meet become popular in the future. That's good news for all, all the girl, 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 George, George's George and very old there. there. Oh, there. Okay, good. Okay, so here you can see why do parents give their children unpopular names? And sometimes the reason is because they are traditions, right? Sometimes uh, Mary, for example, or Maria is you know, a tradition sometimes. In some cases, it's a religious tradition. In other cases, it's because of the family. Okay, many people are named after a family member. Name after is when you give your son the name of the father. Okay? Okay. And then that is name after. For example, you said, uh, in my case, for example, I am not. I am not named after my father's name. Okay, Only. because uh -huh, my father was, his name was Gregorio and my name is Luis. So I am not named, I was not named after my father. Okay? Okay. So then this is when name after it means, for example, suppose that you are going to have a baby and then you tell your husband, okay, uh, I'm going to name the child after you. It means if your husband is, let's uh, say, Antonio, then your son is going to be Antonio, right? So this is name after. 
Uh, of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. Okay. Some names are probably, I don't know, uh, what name is unpopular in these days? Theophilo, maybe, right? Or another name that is not popular? Uh, Nicolas, maybe. Nicolas. My yeah. son names is Nicolas. Okay, but it's not, very, it, it's not very popular, right, Nicolas? No. no okay, no, but no. probably probably in the future, it says here, okay, it's unpopular now, my, but might become popular in the future. Okay? Mm -hmm. future. So then this is what happens. So there are tendencies, right, sometimes. There, is a, there, there, was a, there are moments, for example, I am a teacher and sometimes I see in the list, for example, the name Andrea. I have a class where I have like five girls with the same name Andrea. Okay, so I, ha I have Andrea the first, Andrea the second, Andrea the third, Andrea the fourth, and Andrea the fifth. So I have five generations of Andreas in one class. Okay, so in this case, there is like a boom sometimes with the names. Another name that in these days, for example, in, in the school, what I see sometimes is Nicole. Okay, Nicole and Andrea. Okay, Nicole and Andrea are very frequent just names. Okay, so this is, you know, about names. Okay, any other question about vocabulary? Take a look at the, take a look at the reading. And tell me if you see any, any other new question. Nope. Might. 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 Might become. Uh, might become. Puede, podría llegar a. Oh. Might become popular. Podría llegar a ser popular. Might. Eh, let me see. Might. Come. Here. The chat. We have. May. Wait. May might okay when you say may is 50 50. for example right now here it is i can hear the thunders okay and i see some lightning it's possible it, uh -huh, exactly it may rain okay you can say it's going to rain it may rain but you know sometimes it's only the lightning so it said it might rain. So main is if May is 50% and might is like remote, like 25% of possibilities that something happens. Okay. So when you say it might become, is there is a 25% of possibilities that the name in the future will be popular. Okay. Suppose I can say I may come tomorrow 50-50. I might come tomorrow. So there are more possibilities for me to be absent than to be present. Okay, now let's answer some questions here. It says, read the following article about the names, then check the statements that are true. Okay, which ones are true? Your name is part of your identity. True or false? Yes. True. Definitely. True. True. Okay. True. Perfect. People often feel the same way about a particular name. True. 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 Yes. Right. Good. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. 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 Apparently, they are the same, right? Sure. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. What's mean? What's mean? Often, often. Often. Uh, a menudo. A menudo. A menudo. And then we say also interpretation in Spanish like seguido, right? Oh, Yo, voy bien okay, okay. Se Yo voy bien seguido. I often go. A menudo voy. Okay, then seguido. That would be more or less an interpretation in Spanish. 
Okay, people are often named after family members. True. 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 Okay. Opinions about names can change. True. True. There is a possibility, True. right? There is a possibility. Okay. Good. Excellent reading comprehension and memory and retentive. Okay. So there we have the answers about this reading. And we get 25 points more for our collection. Okay, good. Now, we finish with the yes, no questions, simple present, there to be. Now we're going to start with section two. And in this lesson, okay, Areli, can you please read? In this lesson, participants will listen to conversation about job using WH question, word, and well, a statement. Okay, good. Wait. I'm having an issue with this one. Doesn't want to move. Okay, here. All right. So, yes, about jobs using WH questions, words, as well as statements. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, but I don't want some. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Oh, really? What do you do there? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Section 2. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, so they are... Where do you work? Making in a fast... In the section one, we were practicing with yes, no questions. Here is... WH questions like where do you work, what do you do, uh, well, how interesting is an expression, uh, what do you do again, where do you work again, which restaurant, okay, so if you see for example, where do you work, in a fast food restaurant, here in San Salvo there are many, many, many fast food restaurants, right, we have uh, pizza restaurants, hamburger restaurants, tacos restaurants, oh, many. Then it's more specific, which restaurant? Then, and also, this is the second. The first one is just no questions. Second is WS questions. And now also the statements or sentences. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. It's a sentence. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Like you say a sentence, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Uh, I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America. 
to say it's a great job. I love it. I'm a student. I have a part-time job uh, in a fast food, fast food restaurant. And that's it. Okay, so these are sentences. Information questions and sentences. Okay. Thanks. Okay, good. Best food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Now, the use of simple present. This is pretty important now. Okay, now remember these three things. Just no questions, information questions, the statements, and now the importance of the simple present, okay? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. good. He, uh -huh. she, it, third person. For he, she, it. Well, okay, sorry, sorry. Let me show you. Person. Everything together, for this the is how person. this... Yes, that's correct. He, she, it. Right? So we have here, do, I, you, we, you, they. And let me check something. Yes, let me... Okay, when we use, okay, tell me a sentence, please, uh, in affirmative, in present. Okay, we use, I, I what? One verb? I do. I do, I do what? Do. Dinner. I do my homework. Oh, uh, that would be I make dinner. I do my homework, okay, every day. Every, every day, okay. What is a negative sentence here? I don't uh -huh, do my 
homework. Homework. Every day. Every day. Okay, good. That's correct. Negative. What is the question? Do do you do? Do you do your homework uh -huh, yesterday? Your, your homework present. Do you do your homework, homework every day? Okay. There you go. Then this is with you can use in this sentence you can use I we I do we, you, and they. Okay? Now, we're going to use the same sentence and just say she does her homework. Okay? Every every day okay in the negative she doesn't 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 uh -huh. do she yeah, doesn't good. do she doesn't do okay her her homework everything uh -huh. homework every day good and the question? Does she do? Does she do? Uh huh. Her homework. Her homework. Yesterday. Every day. Her homework every day. Remember? Yes, because in this moment we are practicing only present, right? So then, does she do her homework every day? If you want to use it in past tense, it would be, did she do? Did. Uh, did she do her homework yesterday? And then you have it in past tense. And, we, and then we use that with he, she, he, she, and it. Okay? So in this case, you can say he does or it does. In this case, you can say, I no. do, you do, we do, you do, they do. The first you is singular. Okay, the first you is singular. Singular. Okay. Singular, only one person. And the second you here is plural. Okay, when I say you, it's only one person and you the plural. Okay? You or you? No, you. you. Only you. You and you. For example, uh, if I say Carla and Elizabeth, do you, do you speak English? I am using two people. Okay. Then you can say here. Let's say, say Carla and uh, let's say um, Elizabeth. Carla and Elizabeth, do you? And then this you is for these two people. Okay. okay. But if I say only Carla, okay. Carla, do you do your homework every day? It's only one person. Okay. Depende del contexto. Exactly, right? This one is only for one person, and this one is for two people. Okay? Similar, similar. Uh, right? Like which one? Ah, uh, when you write it, is it similar? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh, yes. It's exactly the same. It's the context. El context, all right? Because if I say here, suppose I want to ask a question only to, uh, let's see, uh, 
Benjamin. Benjamin, yes. do you do you live in San Miguel? Uh, I don't know. Do you live in San Miguel? No? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Do you live in San Miguel? Okay, but this question is only for Benjamin. Then it's singular. So the context is only for Benjamin. And if I say, for example, a, let me see, Lorena. Yes, teacher. Do you and your husband work in the same place? No, we aren't. No, we no, don't. No, we, we don't. No, we don't. Okay. No, we don't. No, we don't. If you see, the question was for Lorena, but for two people. Okay, so the context is plural. You got it? So then in the second one is you. Okay. If I say, do you guys, do you guys in general, do you guys like English? Yes. Uh huh. And yes, we like. Yes, yes we, we do. like it. Yes, we yes, do. We do. Uh -huh. Yes, we do. We like English class. Okay, we like we the English, English class. classes. Or we like English too. Okay? So you said, but yes, we do. So the question is in general. Okay? So this is for this is like the general uh, general knowledge about the simple present. Now, but what is something important? What is something important here? Practice the verbs. Okay? Memorize verbs. Así que vamos a hacer un juego con do you. Okay? Let me see chat here. Make me. Let me see. Make me say. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Let me see what else. Yeah, no, it is. Okay, can you see the, the chat? Yes. Okay. So the idea here is that you ask me questions with do you, only do you, okay? But different actions, different verbs. And I have to say, you have to push me. You have to make me say, no, I don't. Okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Do you like um, vegan food? Yes, I do. Gosh, teacher. <laughs> okay. Do you um, like jumping in the airplane? In the airplane? In the airplane. Yes, I do. Do you like men's? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's the good one. Exactly. That's the question. No, I don't. Ah, no, I this is the right. <laughs> exactly, okay? So you see, that's why it make me, push me, force me to say that. Because you say, do you like uh, vegan food? Not really. But I can say, yes, I do. Do you like to jump from airplanes? Uh, no, I am afraid, but uh, yes, I do. But if you say, do you like men? Uh, no, 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 I don't. No way. <laughs> <laughs> only, only my son, okay? My son, yes, right? Because, but then, in general, no. Okay, other question, continue. Do you like it? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. What, what else? Do you like do you to go to a beauty salon? Uh, I have no problem. I can go. Before do you, I receive the, you receive the services? Yes, I had a haircut, but a long time ago I used to go to Vidal's <laughs> Bidal, <Bidal's> salon. <laughs> Well, many years ago. Okay, many okay. years ago. Do you like singer? 
Singing. She's singing. singing. Well, yes, I do. I do like singing. I am I am a terrible singer, but I like singing. Okay, but I like singing. Do you look, do you like dance? Yes, I do. Not the, I am not good, but I like dancing. Do you yeah. swim? Do you swim? Do you swim with a with a shark? Ah, no, I don't. Forget <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you have? Do you have? Uh, do you have more wife? No, 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 I don't. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't. Okay, okay. She's, she's here. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Okay. Uh -huh. Somebody you, is here in the teacher. Yes, right. Tomorrow I'm gonna to have my eyes like this. Next to you. Yes. Tomorrow is gonna to have problem with you, you with like Benjamin. The guitar? Uh, yes, I do, but I can't. Okay. Okay. Do you like play soccer? Oh, I love it. Okay. I love it. Good. What else? Do you like painting your na nails? Nails? <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Teacher, do you like drug? drugs? Drugs. 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 Uh, if they are medicine, yes, I do. <laughs> in English, in no, English. No, no, medicine, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because in English, you go to you go to the drugstore. Teacher, do you uh, like? Uh, yes. Do you like? Could your mustache? Uh, no, I don't. No, I mean, just a little bit, but you know okay. that. Nunca me lo quité todo. Yes. Never. Do you like watch TV? Oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. I don't watch. Do you I don't like watch paint your day. hair? Excuse me. Do you like paint your hair? Uh, paint your dye, hair. Dye, dye, dye your hair. Dye. Dye is the mirror, right? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Paint, paint. Do you dye. like dyeing your hair? Uh, yeah, probably, yes, probably no. Yeah, yes, yes, I do. If I can do it, yes. Is there a question? Yes. La, la, la pregunta era, do you like, uh, do you like drug for? If you like? Drug for, así era. Drugs. Drug for? No, drugs. Drugs. No. Drug for or solo drug? Your question was drugs only. Drug. Mm -hmm. Drogas. Drogas, right? Drogas. Drogas. Uh, yes. Do you like drugs? No, yes. Uh, no, yo estaba bromeando. Porque in English you say drugstore. Entonces, oh. porque eh, drugstore es como, es una venta de drogas, pero... Or, uh, in English, in Spanish, in Spanish, in English, in Spanish, 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 do you do do you do drugs? do you do drugs? in Spanish, in do you do Spanish, in Spanish, in you do drugs? in Spanish, in you do you do drugs? You do, mm -hmm. you do drugs? No, okay. I don't. You say, no, I don't. Okay? okay. Good. Uh -huh. Carla, do you okay. like makeup? Makeup. Do you like makeup? Not for me. <laughs> no, no. No. Okay. no, I don't. Okay. Yes, do Leslie. you love tattoos? Uh, no, I don't. I don't love, but I like to see them. Okay? No, not on me, not on me. But on other people, and if they are artistic, yes, they do. Do you like go to the hospital? No, I don't. I hate <laughs> it. I hate it. I hate hospitals. Okay, so you see, this is, no, I don't. Then you are using a lot of verbs, and do you like? You are I thinking in English. Say, uh, injection. Shot. 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 Shot.
Tequila shots. Do you like this? Like wine? Wine. Wine? Wine? wine. wine. Uh, yes, I do. Wine. Do you like play wine. guitar? Uh, I can't. I can't play. But if I had, yes, I would like. Do you like uh, pick up the the dog odds? Así es. The pop. The pop. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. When I uh, in this moment, I don't have a dog, but because I had two dogs, and the dogs died. They were very old, like oh, four, no, four, fourteen or fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. And in this moment, I don't want to have another one. Porque me encariño, okay. me encariño demasiado, right? <laughs> and in this moment, in this moment, I don't have time to, to take care of them. But probably okay. in the future, in the future, I will have another one. Yes, I, I, I used to clean. I used to clean because I like to keep them in clean places. No, I have no problem with my pets. That's good for you. Yes, I need, I, need, I need to get a, a, what is this? A labrador, maybe, if I can get one of those. Look, oh, look, mice. Oh my god, look at that Oy, one. It's a husky, dog. right? Yes, yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. When yeah. he's asleep, yes, he's beautiful. <laughs> I know, yes, those ones are really, <laughs> yes. they, they are really, you know, um, very, they, they are very hyperactive. Okay, it's like the French poodle. That's the word, yes, correct. Hyperactive, mm -hmm. yes, it's hyperactive all the time. Okay, very good. Now we're going to do another activity, okay, with verbs. But now you are going, you are going to say sentences, affirmative sentences, okay, with different verbs, okay? Different okay. verbs. For example, suppose I say I run every morning, okay? No es cierto, no es cierto, pero es una oración, right? I run every morning. Okay, I, eh, let me see, I, I think. I did it again, I did it again. I did it again. I think <laughs> in my eh, family, okay, um, all the time. Okay. I use two verbs, run and think, okay? Now we are going to make three rounds, okay? Three rounds, three sentences. And you cannot repeat the verbs, okay? I will write in the chat the verbs that you are using so that you can see the verbs and you don't repeat them, okay? If you repeat one verb, okay, you have to send to Pusas to uh, through the delivery to uh, to everyone's house, okay? Esa va a ser la pen, uh, penalización, okay? If you make a mistake, huh? mandar pupusas a los demás. Oh. <laughs> delivery, okay? So let me see, like five pupusas more or less, each one is like 15, 30, like 40 pupusas, right? Okay, good. From, I don't know, from uh, from a restaurant, from La Pampa, I mean, more expensive. Okay, good. Begin with a sentence. Uh, who begins? One sentence in simple present only. No past, no future, only present. Uh, I. Okay. Um, my husband and I love watch um, movies. Love. Okay. Love. Uso dos, pero vamos a ver primero. Love to watch. We're okay. going to use love. Watch. Okay. Yes, Sarli. I love my daughter. No, you cannot say love. Ya lo oh. dijeron. Other verb. Okay. Um, yes, Benjamin. I think, I think. Benjamin? Uh, I jump in the bed. <laughs> 
Va a quebrar. Imagínate, you're going to break it. You're going to break it. <laughs> okay, that's for children. That's for children, Benjamin. Okay. Uh -huh. Next one. I cook for my parents. Okay, I cook for my parents. Every day. Perfect, Leslie. Thank you. Next one. I eat I make breakfast. Exercise. I eat breakfast, yes. Uh, at six I drink a coffee. Wait, I eat breakfast, then Elizabeth? I drink a coffee. I make exercise every day. Uh, do. I, I do. do exercise. I do exercise every day. Yes. Benjamin? Which one do you say, Benji? I drink a, a coffee. I drink, I drink coffee. Okay, there you go. I. Yes, early. I study English all the time. I study English all the time. Very good. Mm -hmm. Romeo, Carla. I buy uh, fruits on the supermarket. I buy fruits in the supermarket. Okay, very good. I read a book every day. Perfect. Read. Mm -hmm. Tienen que desempolvar ese vocabulario de verbos that you have. Nine. I no go words. to work every morning. I go to work every morning. Good. I, I play, play the guitar. I play, 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 play. Okay, good. I play the guitar. Yes. Mm -hmm. I supervise my auxiliary accountant. Okay, supervise. Very good. Excellent. Can I use play for a uh, sport? Yes, I was thinking okay. about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I play basketball all night. I play basketball all night. Okay, very good. To play has different mu for music, even for CDs. I play music, I play sports, I play an instrument. Okay, so different context. Okay. Yes, uh, Arely, then Javier. I miss my daughter. Oh, very good, excellent, miss. Very good, Javier. I drive to work. Perfect, drive. Okay, very good. I meet people in the park. I meet. I meet people, people in the park. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Come on, come on, do more. I, I sing a song. I sing a song, yes, sing. Uh -huh. I write a song. I write a song, very good. Inspiration, Elisa. Leslie? I dance, mm -hmm. I, I dance a Mark Anthony song. Song, salsa music. Okay, yes, Leslie? I talk with my friends. Talk. I talk with my friends. Okay. If you see I sleep in the night. I sleep in the night. In the night, of course. I spell my number. I spell. 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 S P E E L. Spell. S P E L L. Spell. Spell. Spell my. I, I, sp I spell my name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wash the dishes. Yes, Lorena, I wash the dishes. Well, you. I take me. a shower every morning. Okay, you sure? Take a shower. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Okay, take a shower. I believe you. Okay. I swim every more every Sunday. I swim every Sunday. Good. The, the airplane fly. Flies. Okay, flies, 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 flies. flies is uh, plural. Yes, no, it's the third person, he, she, it, airplane, okay. it. Mm -hmm. It, yes. I go to the church every Sunday. I go to, go to, go, 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 and Goya is already there. Ya lo usamos, go. 
Okay, if you see, we have run, think, love, jump, cook, uh, yes, eat, uh, eat, do, drink, study, buy, read, go, play, supervise, play, miss, drive, meet, sing, write, dance, talk, sleep, spell, wash, take a shower, swim, and fly. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 26 verbs. I invent okay. a sentence. Invent. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's another one. Okay. I watch the notice. <coughs> I watch the news. Watch the news. Okay. I walk in the park. I walk in the park. Okay, very good. You teach very good. You teach very well, okay? Very yes. well. Uh -huh, because it's an action. Okay. It's an adver adverb, okay? Teach very well. I hear, I I hear very everyone. It's very. I hear everyone. I hear, okay, I hear everyone here. There you go. I remember. Uh, Do you remember the time? Okay, so the best the best way the best uh, way to memorize verbs is in sentences because you use it in context and if the sentence is uh, something in uh, from your life is better okay because you will remember the action and it's easy for you to connect the idea with the reality okay. Remember that we meet English in, re in the reality, right? In real life, no in, no in books or something practical, okay? And with this one, for example, with these verbs, you can create a story, right? For example, I get up early every morning, I run every morning, and when I run, I think in my family all the time because I love my family, especially my daughters. I like to jump when I get to the park. Uh, when I come back to my house, I cook my breakfast. Then I eat my breakfast and I do some activities for my work. Then I drink water and study my lessons that I'm going to teach. Sometimes I buy material to teach my classes and I read my classes before I go to teach. I like to play with my students in my classes because if somebody supervises my class, they will see that I am playing. Okay, you see, you can invent stories using these <laughs> verbs. Okay, just use your creativity. Okay, and then you can. That's the that, that's the best way to remember. You practice okay. pronunciation, uh, practice the spelling, como dijo Areli, spell. La ortografía too, right? And you get more fluency when you speak. Okay, people. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, this is all for today. No sentir tiempo. Tomorrow we have to continue with this. Okay. So have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night, remember, everybody. remember, remember the homework. Okay. Dream in English. And Good see night. you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.